Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome to Soft Dev Cafe. Today I'm going to show you how to create this sliding widget, sliding main page as your home page or whatever, whatever you will need it actually. This is used by widget called page view and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's do this by using a page view. Page view is a widget in Flutter which is allowing us to do this kind of a home screen where you can swipe left right and switch between each pages i'm going to use two pages which i already had here when we were doing the app data tutorial but you can use it with any other page you just need to create a page with a scaffold and stuff you don't don't even really need a full scaffold i'm going to actually delete the up bars from these ones because we don't really want to up bar there and now let's go to the main page and let's create the widget and it's actually really one of the simplest things you can do once you have prepared those two pages you can just get the get to the body which I'm going to delete all of this and let's add to the body page view for this we are going to need a page controller which is going to control the selected screen for us or a selected widget selected scaffold whatever you want to call it and we are going to go with page controller that's going to be page controller and we are going to do initial page is going to be zero and we are going to need end selected page which is going to be zero now we can go into the page view we can assign the controller we can do on page changed we are going to do like this and we are going to say that selected page is value and we are going to set state and now we need to add children which is going to be just page 1 and page 2 which are these two pages which I have created before and you can use whatever you like or you can just create two very very simple pages just to test this out okay so let's build the app okay and now we should very much be able to scroll between the pages yes we can this is what we created before for saving the text view so this is going to be the text value and yeah it works very much fine the reason why we did the selected page index in the end is to show off which page we are on so you can then build an indicator or something we are going to do this very simply we are going to add a column here with children where we're going to have the page view so we're going to go like this 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 yes and now we need the page view to be in expanded widget and now we can add text where we are going to show the selected page so yeah, now we know at which page we are, but there's just a zero down there and it doesn't look really particularly nice. So we are going to put it in size box, so it's not so small. And we are going to add height of 15, for example. We are going to have the text in center of it. Center trial. Um, you may do just 25. So you can see it more clearly. I think we just 35, so it's it's really being seen. And we don't even have to do this as this, as the text. We can indicate it otherwise. So we can basically do that. Selected page equals equals zero, which is if we are on the first page. Then we can use an icon which is going to do icon start and that's where we show text so we can do something as 
text field or if it's not zero which means in our case it can be only one because we have two pages you can, you can show another icon which is going to be icons and this is where we set the text so we can be settings so we can save this and now it shows us which page we are on we obviously can't go any further because there's no more pages and we can obviously use it as we were before So yeah, this is very easily how you can use the page view and create your own custom indicator. You can really use the selected page variable as you want. You can create some dot indicators or whatever you would like. And yeah, I hope this really helped you. It was something I was searching for and this would be, <laughs> this would be exactly the very most simple way to explain this I would need. So yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, like the video and see you in the next one.